Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. So what I'd like to do is show you how to multiply uh, this monomial times this binomial by applying distributive property. So to do that, all I'm simply going to do is multiply like this. So I take my term on the outside, and I'm going to multiply it to both my terms on the inside. So basically, what I'm doing is writing 4x cubed times negative 2x squared um, and plus 4x cubed times 5x. The reason why I did plus is because that's a positive, right? If, that, if this was a negative, then I'd write negative you know, or minus. But it's a positive, so it's plus. All right, so now I just need to make sure I multiply these monomials times these monomials. When you're multiplying monomials, um, first of all, our coefficients, we can just multiply them just like as their numbers. So 4 times negative 2 is negative 8. When I'm multiplying exponents, I've got to make sure if I have the same base, then I can combine them. And when you have the same base, all you simply do when multiplying is add. So this is x times 3 plus 2, which you know is x to the fifth, but I'll simplify that again. Here we multiply 4 times 5, which is 20. And then x cubed times x. Um, and really, that x really has an x to the first power. So then when I add that, combine those, that's 3 plus 1. Remember, the bases have to be the same. If that was like a y or something, then we just leave it as x cubed times y. But since they have the same base of x, we can add their exponents. Now I just simplify. Negative 8 x to the fifth plus 20 x to the fourth. Since these are not the same, we can't add them together. All right? They have to be exactly the same base as well as power to combine them by addition and subtraction. But they only need to have the same base when multiplying or dividing. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That is how you apply distributive property to simplify our expression. Thanks. to expand.